everyone, it's Star Wars Dude 2000 and Bree, and we tonight will be doing a episode on a very well-known anime that everyone's waiting for season three to come out pretty soon. Tokyo Ghoul, as Bree is gesturing to in the background. <laughs> so, want to give the summary as usual, Bree? Yeah, sure. Okay, so Tokyo Ghoul is an anime about ghouls. Um, it's about ghouls. Yeah, Basically, he turns into a ghoul after going on a date with a ghoul, and due to a huge accident happening during that night, he, a few doctors decide to do surgery, a special surgery on him that turns him into both ghoul and human, which is kind of hell for him since he can't eat his favorite food anymore. He can't even eat shit. Yeah. All he can eat is coffee and human flesh, which first episode turns him crazy as hell. Especially since his friends are humans and he just wants to live a normal life with a girlfriend, but fate has a huge kick in the ass for him. Yeah, and um, he goes to Anteku, which is a coffee shop, and there's that's only run by ghouls, and they teach him how to fit into a cool society while also keeping his ghoulness a secret from his human friends. Which then he, due to being a part of Anteku. It turns into a whole big problem for him since he's both on Teku and the rest of the ghouls get caught up into a huge fight between the ghoul attack corps or whatever it's called and this big group of ghouls that attack and eat humans, and are trying to cause revolution against the ghoul attack force. Mm -hmm. So, he gets, due to this, we finally get to see Kaneki's best look ever, white hair. Yes, it is a bunny. That's why she's called the Bunny Girl by the main one of the leaders of the task force. Where Kaneki's is kind of a um, BDS. Kind of, it's it's uh, he only has one ghoul eye, and the other one is normal throughout the season up to the last episode. But um, he it covers his regular eye, as well as, I mean, he has his cool eye, but it covers his regular eye, and he covers his mouth with a little zipper. It's also got a zipper on his mouth for some reason, which we never figured out why. Yeah. 
But yeah, which also brings us to season two, which we watched Kaneki's deterioration from human to more ghoul after he joins the resistance, the ghoul resistance group, and this yeah. is way after he kills, um... The main task force leader. Mm. He's a part of the King's Blood. Probably saying that wrong, but, um. Yeah. And we also learn during this season that a very popular idol that everyone likes is also a ghoul. <coughs> You know, I think we've given them enough of a summary. Want to start with the opinions? Yeah, um, I, I got into Tokyo Ghoul because, um, I, I'm on Tumblr, and, uh, I saw a lot of people, like, posting about it, and I was like, wow, like, what is this? And it wasn't relatively long, it's 12 episodes per season, I believe. Um, so I started watching it, and I immediately fell in love with it. I fell in love with the opening music, I fell in love with the characters. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. It had a sense of humanity to it, um, and it was moral, kind of. I don't know, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought, um, it had a, a good story, as it's also based on a manga, which many anime are, but, um, yeah, fun fact, I also clap my uncles like this now, ever since long. <laughs> Guess it's my turn. So, honestly... I didn't think it would be a good anime because everyone was telling me to watch it. Everyone would not let me watch the other anime first. So I finally gave it a chance. And like Bree said, it drew me in. It was honestly amazing. I feel like I could kind of sympathize with the... Ghouls, since they're basically minorities. They are hated just because of how they must survive by eating humans. Kind of, it gives you, <laughs> way I see it, it gives you a perspective of a zombie. They're hated because they must eat brains or body parts or some crap, or like vampires where they must eat or drink blood, which this, similar to a vampire, they've got special powers and all that, but the use of those powers is kind of scary in a way. Honestly, I like the visuals more than... Anything else. I mean, the beautiful art that those tails and weapons were made of. And I gotta say, my favorite character has gotta be Kaneki since he's basically a halfling, like you'd call a normal vet, like you'd call a vampire. He's half ghoul half-human, and amazing as hell. Honestly, during the whole thing, I figured he could actually unite the ghouls and the humans, but that blew up in our face. Especially with that crazy-ass bastard with the white hair. I can't remember his name, but I definitely know... It, he infected his daughter with the craziness, especially if you're stealing all those tails and all those weapons from the ghouls. It just... Holy shit. 
using a ghoul's weapon against itself as your own weapon. Honestly, I'd never thought of that ever being done. Yeah. Um, I think that one of my favorite characters is um, either Uda or Toka. Um, Uda only because just uh, I freaking love math, man. <laughs> but uh, I think Toga is, is probably one of my favorites. Um, she she's like really serious, but she has like this air about her, and she she helps Anaki even though. She doesn't want to, like, she was still, she was once, like, like him. She understands, I guess. Um, which is why she brings him to Anteki. True. There is one character I do not like completely. It's the gayest character in the anime, and just brought it way over the edge. Um, Tanaka, or whatever his name was? Tokiyama. Yes. Oh my god. Just his obsession with Kaneki, it just... Always sniffing his blood and all that shit. I get, dude. You're in love with gourmet foods. You're in love with eating different kinds of humans and even ghouls. But seriously, way too uh, too much obsession over one guy. Yeah. I think uh, you can see my obsession with uh, Tokyo Ghoul, not only by the poster that's hanging behind me, but I, on my old wallet, I have a little uh, keychain of Kaneki, as well as a pop figurine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but... Like I said before, I really loved white-haired Kaneki more than the uh, kind of defensive, or defenseless, I should say, weak little kid that Kaneki started out with. Yeah. And actually, we finally get to see him learn how to use his power, even though it's not technically his power, because it's... It's Rize's. Right. And just during the finale, that descent, as he's getting ripped apart, and just completely destroyed as Rize, or his image of Rize, just takes over and explains to him that he was wrong in the way that he lived. He should not have been such a wimp. He should not have lived like his mother who lived to please everyone until it killed her. Mm-hmm. Just seriously, Kaneki, be your own person. Do not be your mother. Live for yourself. Yeah, Rize is um, constantly in his head. And another reason um, why he wants to eat so much is because she was considered a glutton. She always loved eating people. And um, that's why he constantly... Uh, what? Scoot me. Which is a huge struggle for him, like all those people that want to lose weight out here that want to go on a diet, but they just have to eat. 
or they're yeah. just going to starve themselves. But yeah, there was also a really cute character I loved and sympathized with. Um, what was her name? Hinami? What? Hinami, the girl. The yes. Girl. Yes. Oh, girl. I, I cried. I loved her. And I loved her mom. And I just... I can't. Honestly, I had to love the combination of her father's and her mother's weapon. Just... You know what? Sometimes I just think she could have won that one battle to protect her mother. If she tried. But at least that guy's dead, and her mother and father are finally put to rest. Yeah. And we don't have to see their weapons be used in such a terrible way. Mm -hmm. So yeah, fuck you, white-haired guy with the... Awkward weapons and awkward... Awkward obsession with killing ghouls instead of listening to them. <laughs> I'm just glad we're getting a se a third season where I've heard we finally we see what happens to Kaneki after Tokyo A Squared's ending. I believe the story is he becomes a part of a ghoul-only task, task force to fight ghouls, but he has no idea who he is. He's given a fake name. He's given this just whole new identity, and I just hope he finally figures out who he is once again. Now what, I think we should move on to the ratings. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know, what would you rate this? this mm, nine, nine point five out of ten. And why? Because it's an amazing anime, and I wouldn't really want to give it the top spot since they're in my heart they're still a lot more better than it and I just gotta give it a high rank I just can't give it the highest rank okay. I would say either um, an 8.5 or a 9 only because um, I like you said, I don't want to give it the highest rank because I know that there are anime that are um, better, I guess. But the animation was beautiful. I loved, I loved the animation. I loved the openings. I loved the music. I loved the story. I just loved them. Unravel forever. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So, this has been our review on Tokyo Ghoul. I f I'm not, I don't know. What should we do next? Um, I think that we should either do um, Soul Eater or Attack on Titan next. Um, so, just comment below what you'd rather see. Uh, either Attack on Titan or Soul Eater. And, yeah. Yeah. See you guys later. This has been Star Wars Do 2000 and Bree on Tokyo Ghoul. Peace out, ghouls. Bye.